Google, as we know, has emerged far more than a mere search engine. These days, a lot of people, organizations, and groups rely on Google services. Google achieves all this through data centers. In this module, we are going to look at a project that was carried out by Google for inter data center connectivity somewhere back in 2011. Uh, so they realized this through a WAN deployment using SDN. We are going to appreciate the background for it, the motivation, and then we'll uh, look at the architecture. Google has two backbones, the northbound and southbound. Um, the one which is internet facing, we call it northbound, has user traffic which is uh, pretty smooth and it's diurnal. It means it's more during the day. And uh, the traffic actually originates um, externally and terminates externally. The data centers, which are actually the uh, main forte of Google uh, for providing all these services, actually has the data flows which are internal. Uh, these data flows bet between or within the um, uh, data center servers or the uh, virtualized environment is mostly bulky and uh, at times bursty. All these flows uh, are mostly related to the data center uh, destined or originated traffic. B4 was conceived, as you can uh, look at it, uh, the, the name sounds uh, quite awkward, before and after. So B4 was basically an, an initiative uh, by Google to provide WAN connectivity to its own uh, data centers. The requirements which were laid out by Google were quite uh, uh, unique. The first one was there was a massive bandwidth requirement for uh, a modest number of sites. Specifically back in 2011, uh, they uh, had uh, 12 sites uh, globally. Uh, and then the traffic uh, utilization had to be maximized while minimizing the overall uh, bandwidth requirement. Um, at the same time, Google wanted to have control over the edge servers um, for uh, rate limiting, that is traffic engineering, and measurement of the demand, which actually originates at user requests, but uh, realizes or turns in, into the data center originated or data center destined traffic. This is the B4 worldwide deployment um, back in 2011. It might have gone through some revisions, but the classical paper or the reference paper that I've uh, quoted started off with this native design. The software defined networking architecture uh, is uh, based on all the unique characteristics or requirements and uh, uh, it, it results into three layers. Uh, starting from the bottom, we have the switch hardware layer uh, where we have uh, a commercially off the shelf uh, 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 SDN switches uh, which form the hardware layer. These switches forward the traffic uh, and are kept from carrying out complex uh, networking functionality. In order to oversee the traffic forwarding, we have the site controller layer uh, that actually is based on uh, uh, routing and traffic engineering uh, mechanisms and protocols, uh, thereby forming a kind of um, routing or uh, uh, switching overlay. Uh, this uh, site controller layer contains the network control uh, uh, servers, uh, which are uh, in turn based on the open flow controllers and network control applications. The open flow controller uh, maintains the network state or provides the visibility uh, and then um, uh, takes the directives from network control uh, application um, and the switching events which take place and then uh, based on the consolidated uh, input from NCA and from the switches, uh, instructs the switches to enable or uh, configure the forwarding tables, uh, which are representative of the network state. Uh, of course, the optimized uh, forwarding states based on the modified network state. 
and then uh, we have the uh, global layer uh, global layer is uh, um view to the um um sdn gateway or the traffic engineering server as a unified um as as a, as a unified mechanism to provide control over uh, um the entire network through the uh, network control applications visually we can see we have the switch hardware layer we've got the site controllers and we've got the global layer here at site controllers you can see there's an open source uh, internet operating system known as quagga then we have the routing agent proxy traffic engineering agent all these are providing dictates to the open flow enabled open flow agent which configures the switches correspondingly at respective sites the reference that i have taken is from 2013 paper experience with a globally deployed sdn uh, software defined wan uh, this was published in very prestigious uh, journal acm secom computer communication review you might as well have a look at it for more details